Welcome back, we're here looking at the indices and this is going to be my daily forecast for Friday, July 22nd, 2022. If you'd like to support the channel, you're going to hit the subscribe button down in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our news videos and all my trades and portfolio are available in the link down below. So let's start by looking at the Nasdaq and this is becoming to look like, uh, look much more bullish than it has been. We are uh, three candles above the uh, 50 moving average, but we are running into an area where we should see quite a lot of resistance. So around this area here where we had the previous highs and we also had the previous lows um, should be an area where we may get rejected. So this is roughly from 12.5 up towards 12.9 or 13, 13k. If you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is bullish, stochastic is still bullish, and RSI is also bullish with quite a lot of room to uh, the upside. So, breaking above the 50 moving average and uh, rallying there, we have done that in the past. We can basically see it here where we went all the way up towards the 200 moving average and broke down. We're still technically in a downtrend, but breaking above this area that most likely will um, make this market go towards the 200 moving average, which is trading at the 14.1K at this current stage. And when we basically break above the 200 moving average, then we technically have broken uh, this, uh, this uh, downtrend that we are in. But at this current stage, we are rallying. We have gone from the very bottom of 11K, which is basically close to the 200 moving average in the, in the weekly chart. And at this current stage, we have tested this area, pulled back quite significantly. If we get a very uh, negative candlestick tomorrow, basically if we rally and then get a really bad candlestick, which is basically a shooting star, and then we may that could be a warning sign that this... Um, uh, rally is uh, running out of steam and we could basically pull back. So let's look at the, the S&P 500. Very similar here. There is uh, also an area around this place where we will most likely find significant uh, resistance. So uh, 4000 should be an area where we will find resistance. We are testing that area or tested it today and pull back quite a bit. Breaking above that, then we are th th uh, looking at 4,100 up towards 4,200 give or take. Um, the previous lows here and the previous highs here as well. After that, the 200 moving average will most likely come into play, which is at 3, 4,353 at this current stage. And MACD is bullish, stochastic is bullish, and RSI is bullish as well. To the downside, 50 moving average should offer support, uh, 3,900 give or take. 20 simple moving average and then the lows yet again. So if you look at the uh, S&P uh, no, the Dow Jones, this is looking even more bullish and there's probably a lot more room to the upside in the Dow than there is in the other indices. We can see that we're testing uh, 32K and it's until we had the 32K up towards uh, 33.4K that we are running into to this uh, same area. So. All three indices basically have the same structure and will most likely uh, uh, fall. If one falls, then all of them basically will fall. After that, 200 moving average is up here at 34k. So to the downside, 50 moving average is at 31.5k, and then all the way down to 30, and then 29.6. MACD is bullish, stochastic is bullish, and RSI is bullish as well. So technical indicators are bullish for all of these, um, all of all three indices, and the momentum is definitely to the upside at this current stage. If we look at the DAX, we can see that it is basically having a lot of problems at the 50 moving average. So 50 moving average is at the 13.5 at this current stage. We saw yesterday we rallied up towards the 30.4 and then gave a lot of those gains uh, away and today we fell quite aggressively down to 13 and then we rallied if we get rejected at the 15 then it's more likely that we'll head back towards the very lows here breaking above the, the 50 moving average we'll mostly test the 200 moving average and this area which is the double top here so we may see the market go up towards roughly 14.6k and 
Of course, if the US indices rally, then most likely the European indices will rally as well. Breaking below here, then we are looking into the BIS for this market. Technical indicators, we can see the MACD is bullish. Stochastic has crossed the signal line, becoming bearish, and the RSI is also bearish. So momentum is kind of to the downside at this current stage. So Japanese Nikkei, we have rallied significantly above the 50 moving average, but we have been here before. Last time we got the shooting star, and then we also here, we basically fell off a cliff. So 2200 moving average has been tested twice in the last few months, and in both cases, we have fallen basically rock hard to the very bottom uh, of this market. So we could be looking at something very similar going forward. In that case, then uh, 26.2 all the way down towards 25.4 could be an um, area of, of support. If you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is bullish, stochastic is bullish, and the RSI is also bullish, but there's not a lot of room to the upside before this becomes overbought. And um, considering where we are, which is significantly overstretched, and we're almost also overbought, then is really risky basically buying it here at this current stage so let's look at the the, the wix we can see that we are approaching the 200 moving average as you can see here it has been support it's been support and every time we basically get close to it it's also acting as support so bottom rally bottom rally and that's kind of how the wix has been behaving if we break below the 200 moving average, then this kind of this structure here basically falls apart. And then we're looking at much lower levels and this will basically everything will turn green. If we rally from here, then everything will basically turn red. So therefore the VIX is fairly uh, important to determine whether or not um, we have a rally in the stock market. If there's a lot of uh, optimism or if there's a lot of fear and a lot of selling occurring. If you look at the MACD, it's bearish, stochastic is bearish, and RSI is bearish as well. So momentum is to the downside of this current stage. To the other side, the 50 moving average is what we have to take out in order to go higher. So let's look at the US 10 year, which basically fell off a cliff today. It is struggling at the 50 moving average. We are, we have this uh, line here roughly at 2.7, which we uh, will most likely test yet again as we fell 5.057% today. We went above the 50, got rejected and just completely fell apart. So need to break above um, these two areas in order to go back towards the very highest area. And its current stage doesn't look very optimistic. It more looks like we are going to test this area. Bring it below that, then the 200 moving average will most likely come into play. If you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is bearish, the casting is bearish, and our side is bearish as well. So, hope you find this helpful. If you want to support the channel by subscribing, hit the like button, the bell button to see our new videos, and good luck, and thank you very much.